The Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence Alaji Saad Abubakar III, on Thursday night announced the commencement of the Ramadan fast on Friday, 24th of April 2020. He confirmed that a new moon had been sighted. The holy month of Ramadan is the period when Muslims observe fasting and prayers. The Sultan also directed Muslims to shun congregational gatherings and maintain physical distancing throughout Ramadan as part of measures to limit the spread of COVID-19. Leave peacefully with one another, irrespective of religious, tribal, political differences. We appeal to the wealthy individuals amongst us to assist the vulnerable and poor people with food during this holy month to cushion the hardship they are going through. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us for the Ibarad we are going to offer this holy month of Ramadan with Al Jannah Firdos and may He continue to protect, bless, and guide our leaders aright and guard our country from all problems that have come up in the world. Ramadan Karim to all of you, my brothers and sisters. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And still on the holy month of Ramadan, we have with me now uh, via, Skype, via phone interview, rather, Sayyidu Bashir. Good morning, Mr. Bashir. Good morning. And good to have you. Uh, Ramadan Karim. Ramadan Karim. Thank you very much. Now let's begin. What is the essence of Ramadan? Well, Ramadan... It's a time of spiritual reflection. It's a time of uh, gratitude. It's a time of empathy. It's a time of certain devotion to worship. It is the ninth month of uh, the Islamic calendar. It's one of the holiest months in Islam. It's the month where the Holy Quran was revealed to the Prophet. All right, I don't know if you can hear me, but there seems to be a bit of issue. If you can hear me, Bashir? Yes, I can. I All can right. hear you. Okay, so this time with COVID-19, the celebration of Ramadan would, of course, be uh, very different. How do you intend to achieve the purpose of the holy month of Ramadan in spite of all that is going on? Well, uh, with the lockdown, of course, health is very important at this time. So we can't uh, have the gathering that we usually have now we do a lot of uh, prayers within the uh, household and we do you know online there are a lot of resource now online that you can get so you listen to information via internet tv and other things other mediums that are available now mm -hmm. but very important that we don't gather together like we usually do for our normal prayers and the uh, Tawheed and uh, all the other congregational prayer we do because of the pandemic. Right. One of the hallmarks of Ramadan is also the act of giving, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. So yes. what will happen when you're not able to really have contact with people? What will be... Uh, what other thing can be done if not giving, as it were? Well, giving is there's so many ways you can give. Sharing knowledge, comforting each other via phone as we're speaking now. Sharing knowledge, sharing the teachings of uh, the Holy Quran. You know, it's, it's, it's one, one way. But around your community, like I live in an estate, you can also give all the security people, I mean, if you wear your mask and all of those things, as long as you maintain social distance and all the other things, that should not stop you from sharing uh, food or whatever things you want to share with people. Mm -hmm. I believe that during this time also will be a special time to hold the country or the world in prayers uh, as we face the Absolutely. pandemic. The pandemic. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a, a very special month, and I'm sure all mu Muslims will be praying for God's intervention at this time, because we need, we need divine intervention, seriously. Right. And I'm sure our prayer will be answered. All right. Thank you so very much, Bashir, and uh, do have a fruitful Ramadan period. Thank you very much.